What's up everybody? Welcome to the fourth tutorial in Dreamweaver. Last time I talked to you guys about formatting basic text, and this time I want to talk to you about formatting paragraphs, making lists, and some basic text styles. First thing I want to talk to you guys about is basic alignment of your paragraph. Now you can do this in two ways. Say you want to align this paragraph right here. You could either select the entire paragraph or portion you want to align, or just place your cursor right in the middle of the paragraph. You can click any of these buttons right down here. These are your align buttons. This is center align, and as you see, our paragraph is now aligned in the center of the page. Right align, and is now aligned to the right hand side and this button is the justify button and this aligns your paragraph to the left and the right hand side by adding extra spaces between the words in your sentence this is especially useful when you're trying to create a magazine or newspaper style website with nice even columns up and down the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the indent property Say you wanted to indent this paragraph 50 pixels to the right. You would highlight the entire paragraph and you would go down to these buttons right here. This is the outdent button and this is the indent button. Just click it and deselect your text and as you can see our paragraph is now indented. Each time you press it, it indents it 50 pixels either in or if you highlight it out, it will indent out. So that's how you use the indent properties. So let's get rid of all of this so we only leave the heading. And now I want to tell you guys how to create a list. Say you wanted to create a list of a certain, certain items. So just go and type item 1 item 2 and then item 3 anytime you want to turn these into a list just select the entire selection and go down to these buttons right here as you see when you highlight over it it says order list or unordered list an unordered list will provide a list with bullet points and an order list will provide provide a list with numbers or letters so let's click that and as you can see our list has now changed into a list with numbers now just like any other paragraph or text you can format this list so let's highlight this list and go up to text text list and click the properties tab as you can see you can change it to numbered list bullet list and also change the style of the list also if you have a bullet list you can change the bullets to squares so let's say we wanted to change this list to roman numerals you would highlight numbered list and change the style to roman large or roman small and then press ok and as you can see we now change this list to roman numerals you can also format this list any way like you format a paragraph or text making it bigger or smaller and say you have an item in your list that you don't want or an item you want to add all you have to do is go to the end of your selection press enter and it automatically creates a new number or room numeral that you can insert your new item you don't have to recreate a list every time so let's click new item and say you have a item that you want to delete as you can see now it's one two three four and say we want to delete this section three all you have to do is press backspace and backspace again and it automatically renumbers your list for you and one thing I didn't tell you guys about last time when formatting text 
Something you do common, if you want to change the style of your heading and make it stand out more, just highlight your entire heading, go up to text, click style, and these will give you common attributes that you can make to have your heading stand out, such as strike through, emphasis, or strong. As you can see, when I applied the strike through, it made a line, and it makes your heading stand out more. And if you want to make your heading stand out more, then you can apply some of these styles. So now that we learned to format paragraphs and make lists and also some basic text styles, next we're going to learn about links. And if you missed anything I went over today, you can go to my website, www.thenewboston.com, and I'll give you a step-by-step -step instruction. Thank you.